Hello, so this video is a response to a question that I get so many times, uh, pretty much three, four times a week. Uh, people ask me the question, how, oh, Ravi, like you're awesome. How did you start? And I always tell them, you know, it's kind of a really stupid question because you can take like Michael Jordan or, you know, the most successful person at anything they always start bad <laughs> like nobody just started and did it right so when you ask somebody how he started it's a stupid question it's like oh i just i did something it, it didn't work so don't ask how did you start ask what did you do that that turned your project into a success or or what happened or what did you do that got you on the success track because uh, everyone that's successful usually went through uh, a couple of years of doing it wrong before they started doing it right. Sorry, side tangent. Anyway, the purpose of this video is, again, sort of a response to this question by me giving you kind of uh, the best tips, I could say, for uh, you know, starting your own business. And this isn't like some, you know, these videos that, you know, five tips for business thing. And it's, it's always like these weird five tips where you're like, oh, I knew that. Like, you know, that's not very helpful. <laughs> so no, these are extremely practical and out of the box. So you probably didn't hear or think about them. So number one is realize the importance of attention. Uh, and again, this is a bit of a rehash of all the content that I put out, uh, but it's a summary. So number one, att attention is the, the key. Attention is the number one thing you need to get anything done. Uh, it doesn't matter how, if you have a good business idea, a bad business idea, if you have a good product, a bad product, the service, you know, whatever it is, if you don't have attention, you're not making sales. <laughs> you're not you don't even you're not even in the vicinity of making a sale because people are not you know they're not glued to you there's, there's no eyes on you so even before you have a product you want to get attention uh start a youtube channel start a facebook uh, page instagram snapchat you know whatever just as much as many channels as possible and start promoting already and when i say promoting the definition of promoting is getting things to the people's attention. Does that make sense? Getting things to the people's attention. So getting you or your business, if you wanna be behind the business, you know that some people like to be the business like me, some people like to be behind the business. Um, you know, kind of like Bill Gates, for example, versus Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs liked to be the face of Apple. Bill Gates liked to be, likes to be behind, uh, you know, in, in the background. So. First tip, again, attention is, is the key. You have to start with attention. You have to get attention. If you don't get attention, you don't get anything. <laughs> so it's not the product, it's not the service, it's not the idea, it's not the strategy, it's the attention. Start getting attention already, no matter if you don't have anything to sell. Because once you do, you'll already have the attention. Make sense? <laughs> cool. Second thing is, whatever it is you're going to sell make it find something expensive to sell and forget about your limiting beliefs for a second oh you know this i'm not good enough to sell this oh, never mind imagine it's somebody else the first thing you want to do is start selling the what's called the bread and butter so obviously if i'm a coach and i write books you know so my first book is going to be released soon it's going to be out for what like 19.99 maybe 29.99 you know 40 dollars 50 70 dollars i mean i i if it's 49.99 i'd have to sell a hundred just to get five thousand dollars now a hundred sales it's it's not a lot but it is a lot when you start the business when just you just started the business unless you do ads but again in that case you still have very low margins it's not going to work trust me not not in your first attempt so i'm here to make it easy for you so you want to start with 
a high ticket item, something expensive that you can sell. What can you sell for $1,000? What can you sell for $2,000, $3,000, $10,000? Maybe it's a certain service, maybe it's uh, con cons consultations where you have something you're good at and you can just help people. Um, you know, we just, it doesn't matter and I can help you think of a product if you want, but it has to be something, something you know, expensive because you want to create a situation where you can just make like two, three, four uh, sales and that's enough to have you in abundance, not just, you know, okay or barely getting by, but actually in abundance. So if you have a $2,000 product, you make two sales, you're at $4,000, just two sales. Which brings me to point number three. What I would do is I'd start by focusing on phone calls, phone sales, I mean. Now I know most of you don't like sales and I'm not, I'm not saying you need to call people and try to sell them. Even if you don't wanna go the route that I went and you know, publish tons of content, when you sell something for $2,000, you have extremely high profit margins if it's online because you're not selling a car you're selling a digital thing or a service so let's say you advertise on Facebook and you suck at it you're just you're horrible and every lead costs you $20 okay $30 $40 $50 every lead costs you 50 fucking dollars for one phone number or or a Skype call okay and that person again you want that person to sort of book the call with you not like you you know just getting a lead like hey you left your details can you buy but you know make it more you know put them in a long video you know the ad should take them to a long video for like a half an hour video and then if they watch it they get a link you know make it very filtered so that you only get the best of the best you know or you maybe you can use a, a long form like, you know, how much are we willing to spend and blah, blah, blah. Just make sure it's a good lead, <laughs> a warm lead, a hot lead. And not just, you know, somebody who just, oh, this looks nice. You know, make it a bit of a, a difficulty to actually get in contact with you. Now, once I actually uh, got in contact, contact with you, because they are the ones who contacted you, and again, you made sure it's only the people who are like really serious, it's not gonna be hard to sell. It's, it's, gonna be, it's not gonna be like a sales thing, you know? It's like, we try to like present it and, you know, closing tactics. Although, you know, you might add that, but you don't need that as long as you kind of sound like you know what you're saying. So you'll be able to, um, to sell every third or fourth or fifth or sixth call. So even, let's say it's one in every six calls. And again, it's not like force, it's just, you know, Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't. No, you want it? Awesome. No, you don't. There's no pressure. <laughs> um, so, if it's six calls and it's like thirty, fifty dollars per lead, dude, <laughs> that's just three hundred dollars in expenses, meaning you still have a profit of seventeen, th seven, one thousand seven, seventeen hundred dollars. Sorry for <laughs> seventeen hundred dollars which is like 20% uh, I think for expenses. Uh, it's basically a 75, 80% profit margin. Uh, so that's tip number three. Again, number one, focus on attention. Number two, high, high prices. Number three, sell on the phone, but get them to call you. So number four, delegation. This is a continuation of the idea of setting uh, large prices. And I'm, I'm not saying large prices like inflating them. I'm saying like, you know, start with the expensive stuff, not the bonuses. You, you, that will be useful when you try to get to a large audience. But we're talking about solvency first, you know, creating a business that already generates a lot of money from the beginning. So uh, number two, again, it's because it's uh, high prices, what high prices do is that they give you a lot of margin. That's why number three, again, you can use calls, which even increases the margin more, because now it's not like internet, you know, one in 100 people, one in 200 or 5,000 people buy. You know, you, you get a couple of leads, one of them, bam, like closes. Uh, but let's see if I can 
fix the light. No, I guess I'm going to be dark for now. Um, now the fourth tip, which again is a continuation of the second tip, you can only do that if you have a large profit margin, is leveraging people. What does that mean? When you have a big pie, you can slice parts of it and still have a lot left. When you have a hundred dollar sale, you don't have anything to do with it because let's say, you know, uh, every lead costs fifty dollars because you suck. You don't have any profit margins. You have to make a sale on the first lead, or you get even or lose money. Uh, let's say the price is five hundred. Again, that's a bit better, but you still don't have too much to play with. But let's say that your price is two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars means that you can basically uh, delegate like we said uh, $300 to marketing so $300 to marketing simple it's uh, it's 15% okay 15% of 2000 is $300 so 15% goes to the fucking leads that will get you the product and again we're talking about if you suck at marketing now besides the 15% you know what you can do let's say you don't like to sell or let's say, um, you know, you just don't think that's your job. You're like, you want to be like a CEO guy, you know? You can literally just get somebody, uh, like like search forums, maybe your friends, you know, you'll you can find them in all places and say, hey, I'm looking for somebody to help me sell my product. Um, I'm interviewing people that want to sell my product. On the phone, uh, you can do it from home. Uh, basically they schedule the call you just show up for the call and make a sale I don't pay you anything except commissions so you do a sale sorry you do a sale you get money you get 15% so $300 15% for the marketing and then another 15% $300 for the commission for the sale you basically uh, just created a model because 30% of the of the income goes to expenses marketing and commissions employees you know salespeople that pretty much do the work for you now what do you have left to do so um, you have a an automatic system for example, that, that generate lead, generates leads. Or let's say if I uh, keep uploading the videos and I grow you know, even more, even the way it is right now, and I say, okay, you know, you wanna contact me, it's fine, and then I hire like an assistant. Again, pay him by commission, an, an assistant, you know, quote smart, quotations. <laughs> uh, an assistant were if you want to talk to me, you talk to him, and then he tries to sell you on me. <laughs> so I just make the videos and he makes the sale. And I know that because you watch my videos, you're probably going to be a good match for me. But again, that's against my style because I like to talk personally with the client. But let's say that I sold a product for $2,000. Or let's say that I had a product service combination where for example, there's a product and you do like a group call with me, you know, where I don't really, if it's a group call, I don't really mind the quality of the person because, you know, you, it's not like you and me. It's not like an intimate thing. It's, you know, 30 people, so who cares? Or again, let's say uh, we're talking about you. Um, you might create a product. Uh, okay, let's say you're not creating a product. You can just give the service. So let's say it's not, you know, coaching which is personal because you have to kind of get to know the person. Let's say it's something like, you know, fixing a website or, you know, doing something that's a bit more kind of not personal uh, where you don't really need to know the person. You just need to be able to solve the problem. You don't really care who you're working with because it's not intimate. Uh, for example, like, uh, like Robert Sislow, uh, Grant Cardone's uh, director of production, uh, what he does uh, is make videos and he says, I don't care if it's a, I like the client, I don't like the client, I, I, I make the sale, you know, he, he charges like um, $2,500, makes the video, who cares, <laughs> he doesn't mind. Um, so, so somebody else makes the sale for you, 
the exp the marketing is done by somebody else. Uh, you basically just provide the service. You want to make it even cooler? Even cooler. Let's say it's the video service, the video production service. And you're not, uh, you don't want to be Robert Sislo. Or you're not Robert Sislo. By the way, watch the interview I did with him. Really, really good. So, um, so you're not him, okay? Or you don't want to be him. So you teach other people how to make uh, videos or you just hire somebody who's already you know talented and again when you have a big pie you pay commissions you don't pay salaries <laughs> so and the reason it works is because you're not like uh look you know you you have to work you have to be at the office seven days a week six five days a week seven hours a day you have to do this no it's like I send you a video to edit, you know, with what the client asked. You edit the video, you get 15%, $300. Who, who do you think, you know, do, do you think there's people who would jump on that? Like, hey, I like to make videos and this is a side income and I edit like five, six videos a month for $300 each. So I get an extra $1,500, $1,800 a month for doing what I love. And some people wanna be, you know, small thing. So they don't wanna be the guys who, who get the leads and get the sale and, you know, promote. They just wanna do the thing. It's as if, for example, me as a coach, I would be like, no, I don't wanna, you know, market and sell and everything. I just wanna get the clients, you know? And there are avenues for that, but you're not gonna get the, the full payments so I won't be able to ch I wouldn't be able to charge you know two thousand dollars if somebody was setting up the calls for me doing everything everything for me because um, you know I, I, I would be like the small screw I would be part of a big company that hires coaches Does that makes sense hope it does so you uh, go by that idea and look what we've done here we're basically built a full model out of a few basic axioms and ideas. So number one, attention. <laughs> you realize that it starts with attention. That, that's, that's a mind shifter. That's just to realize that th that's what matters at the end of the day. Number two, you find something you can sell for more than a thousand dollars. Two thousand is perfect. If you can do more, even better. But two thousand is the ideal. I, well, I wouldn't call it the ideal, but the optimal, because it's it's fairly easy to sell. Two thousand is completely possible. Also, two thousand five hundred. You know, two thousand to three thousand, completely possible, optimal, uh, both in terms of difficulty and in terms of reward. When you go above three thousand, you know, five thousand, ten thousand. It takes more sales skills you need to, or you need to sell something more special or maybe to a bigger client it's completely possible it's just beyond my area of expertise that's why i'm not uh you know codifying it because the biggest i sold was five thousand dollars and i didn't like it <laughs> but that's for another video so you essentially make these sales and you make them again by 15 percent to the marketing, 15% to the guy who sells. And then you can even have 15% to the guy who delivers. So you get 45%, a bit less than half, meaning you know, $900 roughly. No, oh, exactly, $900 goes to people who helped you. But you get the rest, you get 55%. So you get um, $1,100. And this is an automatic system. So you basically don't need to do anything besides keep it running and scale it. So I hope this video kind of helps you understand the, the ideas of what I'm trying to put forth, the, the model, the, the thinking. Let me know if there's anything that you don't understand, anything that you think I should add, because I want to make sure this is tight. I want to make sure you get this 
completely. Okay? So let me know in the comments if this helped you. Let me know how you liked it. And uh, I'm here for a late night meeting. So I'll be seeing you very soon. I love your feedback. Please give me feedback. Please, please, please give me feedback. And let me know if you want to coach. I do coaching. Talk soon.